welcome. If you're new here, my name is Tatum and I'm so happy you're here. Today we're going into a little bit of a low back release um, for our wind down tonight. So I have a block, a blanket, and a pillow. If you'd like, you can take this practice in bed. You don't have to have your mat. Um, if you don't even have a mat, you can come into your living room, put a blanket out, and you should totally be fine. But I do recommend grabbing some pillows, blankets, and anything else that you would want to support you during your practice. So we're actually gonna start off in our child's pose. Now in child's pose, there's so many different modifications that you can take. My favorite is putting a blanket right on top of my calves here, taking my big toes to touch, setting my hips back. And you can bring a block or a pillow underneath you as we gently walk our hands out. And then bringing that block or that pillow right underneath our forehead and our chest maybe. And then you can take your hands out wide, spread your fingertips, or you can even have your palms face up. And we're just gonna relax and sink back into our pose here. And we're gonna take a few rounds of breath but I want you to really try to channel your breath into your low back area. So you're trying to fill up this backside body. So when you're ready, let's take a deep inhale through our nose. Exhale, release and ground down. Readjusting if you need to, finding where this pose feels good or feels best. We'll take another two more big deep breaths and try to send it into this backside body. Maybe you imagine this deep blue light traveling through your nose down to your lower back. And when you exhale, release and ground down. When you're ready, exhale wherever you're at in your breath cycle. Take a big, deep, full inhale. Maybe your chest lifts. Exhale, H.A. Ha, ground down. Last one, big, full, deep inhale. Exhale, ground down. Relaxing here. Now if you'd like, you can roll your forehead on your mat, on your bed, on your pillow. If you're on your block, very gently. You're gonna wanna put a lot of pressure and, and hurt your neck here. And let's seal our lips and begin inhaling and exhaling out through our nose. You can also roll your wrists here, giving them a little bit of love today, opening and closing your fingers. Forearms can be pressing into the floor as you sink your hips back towards your heels. And again, imagining sending that big, deep blue breath down into your lower back. And every exhale, finding a little bit more ease in the pose. Bring that wandering mind back, refocus on your breath. Maybe setting an intention for this practice. Unclench your jaw if you feel like it's tightening.
Eyes can be opened or closed. Gently walk our hands back up. So we're lifting ourselves up. I'm gonna move my block out of the way and come up off my blanket. Put my blanket down on to my mat, kind of roll it into a cylinder, and then I'm gonna place my pillow right on top of it. And we're gonna drape ourselves over this here. So it's gonna be right across our hips. So we'll gently lift ourselves up. If you wanna bring your knees out wide, it'll reduce a little bit of tension on your low back when your legs are wide on your mat. Then we'll gently lower ourselves down. Again, it's right across your hips here. So we're draping ourselves down and we'll stack our hands one on top of each other. Elbows are reaching out towards the side. Then we can gently bring our forehead to the backs of our hands. As we lower down, and release and decompress into that low spine. You're really gonna have to allow yourself to relax down. It'll take a few rounds of breath, but we'll hold it here. If at any point in time this becomes really uncomfortable, you can always press back into your child's pose. So we'll take big deep breaths. Again, just like in our child's pose, imagining that deep blue breath coming into our low back, low spine as our vertebrae gently open up. And with every exhale, release and relax down. Unclenching your glutes if you feel like there's a little bit of tension here. You can take your feet out wider. Relaxing through your shoulders. Relaxing through your jaw. And again, with every exhale, finding a little bit of release. If you'd like, you can always add another pillow underneath your hips here for a deeper opening of that low back. If you'd like, you can rock your head from side to side or make, maybe taking your right or left ear down towards the mat to stretch out the neck.
If your right or left ear was on the mat, go ahead and switch sides now. And when you're ready, we're going to slowly lift ourselves up, walking our hands underneath our shoulders, and we'll gently press ourselves up back into this child's pose here. You can allow your head to relax on your pillow. Hands can be draped over as you press your hips back towards your heels. come back through center we're just coming into a tabletop position you can leave your props where they are and we'll take a few cat cows inhale belly drops gaze lifts hips lift exhale belly button to spine drop the head tuck the tailbone very slow movement eyes can be open or closed Come back through center. Just sitting back on our heels for a moment. Let's move these props out of the way. And then we're gonna make our way on to our back here. Doesn't have to be a fancy transition, just however you'd like. So you slowly lower down. We're gonna take our feet out hip width distance and then just gently windshield wipe your legs from side to side. Pressing your hips into the earth so you get kind of like a little massage across your glutes, making this little mindful movement. Pressing down through your hip points, connecting that lower back sacrum area into your mat. Even put your hands on your hip points. Eyes can be open or closed. We'll gently come back through center. Let's press our feet firmly into the earth. Reset our hips so our hips and shoulders are in line. Gently bring your knees into your chest. You can grab for the outer edges or the outsides of your shins or knees or even underneath your knees right behind your thighs. Let's inhale as our legs pull away, and then exhale as you pull them into your chest and release your tailbone down towards the earth. They don't have to be super close in here. Just working on a little bit of compression. Gently release. And we're just coming into a supported bridge. So this is where your block can come in handy. If you'd like, you can put a pillow underneath your head and shoulders. Now again, feet are hip width distance. We're gonna lift our hips and place this block right underneath our sacrum. And if this block is a little bit too hard for you today, you can always put a blanket over the top of it. Now our sacrum is where our back flesh meets our bum flesh. You're gonna know when it's not right. So if I slide it too far forward or too far away from me, then it's just on my glutes and my low back is dipping down here as you can see. And if I have it too far up, it's in the middle of my back and my glutes are, 
are sliding off the back and this does not feel good at all. And your chest is gonna be way up into your chin. So we're gonna slide it right in that sweet spot. You can take a moment to find it here. You can even use a pillow or a blanket. Your hands are gonna come out to the side or you can bring them up and over your head here. So you relax down and breathing into that backside body. Come back to that breath. Breathe into your low back here. Gaze can be up the ceiling, your eyes can be closed. like if your legs are a little bit tired you can walk your feet out as wide as your mat and then knock your knees together on the inside If you feel like your mind is wandering quite a bit, you can always count your breaths. So inhaling for one, exhaling for one, inhaling for two, and exhaling for two, until you make your way up to 10. Then you count backwards from 10. If you lose track, it's okay. Just come back to where you started at one. Ready. If your knees were knocked together, slowly heel toe your feet back to hip width distance. Hands come down by our side as we press firmly through the earth, lifting our hips, gently releasing that block. Then we can uh, windshield wipe our legs from side to side here. Lifting our feet, bringing our knees back into our chest. Now I'm gonna take my hands on top of my knees, taking a few knee circles. Exhale, pulls them in. Inhale, takes them away, allowing your tailbone to release. Again, giving that sacrum a nice little massage. Finding a little bit of movement in that low back. Very gentle. Switch directions. Come back through center, plant our feet onto the ground. I'm gonna take my blanket onto my left side here. Pressing through my feet, taking my hips over to the right side of my mat. I'm gonna gently take my knees over to the left. Hands can be out on the floor, up over your head, whatever feels best. Gaze can be up towards the ceiling or over to the right side of the room. And if you feel like your legs are floating in space, like your top leg, you can bring a block in between them or a pillow or another blanket. And coming back to counting your breath, as you release tension and find ease with every exhale.
Allowing your upper body to relax and clench through your jaw and soften through your shoulders. Lifting up one leg at a time, maybe planting a foot down onto the earth. So you make your way back through center very slowly. Let's take our blanket onto the right side. Press firmly, firmly through our feet. Take our hips over to the left side of our mat. And then gently drape our right, our knees over to the right side of the mat again. Arms can be out wide like a T, maybe up over your head. Gaze can come up towards the ceiling, over to the left side of your room. Or to the right. Again, taking a block in between your legs or maybe a pillow or a blanket. With every exhale, finding a little bit more ease through your twist. Allowing your upper body to soften. Relaxing your facial muscles and your jaw. Shoulders are sinking into your surface. plant your feet, making your way back through center. You can windshield wipe your legs, rock your hips. Just gonna lift our right knee into our chest and release all 10 fingers around the outside of our shin. Take a deep inhale and exhale, pull it in. You can relax your foot. Our left knee is still bent. Gently release it. We'll bring this left leg up, interlace all 10 fingers, take a deep inhale. Exhale, pull this left knee in. Right knee is still bent. Come back through center. Option to take a happy baby or you can make your way into your Shavasana. Pick up both my feet. They're, the soles of my feet are facing towards the sky. And I'm not gonna take any movement today, but rather focus on allowing my tailbone to relax down so my low back can connect with the earth. Trying to find a little bit of ease and release through my hips. You can grab for your outer ankles, your calves or your thighs. Taking a few rounds of breath here. Again, really focusing on allowing that tailbone and lower back to connect to the earth. It's okay if your feet aren't exactly reaching up towards the sky here. It can be relaxed. A few more rounds of breath. Gently gonna release my feet towards the earth. Option two, 
Take a blanket and put them underneath your knees for your Shavasana. If you want your legs extended here, this will release the tension in your low back. Or this is my favorite for Shavasana, is taking my feet out as wide as my mat and then knocking my knees together on the inside. And I like to take my arms up over my head as I gently allow my backside body to relax into my surface. Releasing tension in between my eyebrows in my cheeks, in my neck, and in my jaw. Allowing the tongue to pull away from the roof of my mouth. Shoulders are melting down. And I just feel the gentle rise and fall of my breath. Thanking myself for getting in a little bit of self-care and movement today. I'm going to leave you all here in Shavasana today. Feel free to stay as long as you'd like. You deserve it. Thank you all so much for flowing with me today. It's always an honor, and I'll see you next time. Namaste.